another day, another exciting vlog in Japan. Currently in the rental, still whipping the Honda. My favorite car ever, obviously. On today's agenda, we're going to go to the Yokohama Up Garage. That is one of the biggest ones, maybe in Japan, but the biggest ones that definitely I know of. Currently going to drive about 40 minutes to pick up Slater. And then we'll head down to Yokohama. I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything. I mean, I really don't have the space. You guys saw everything I bought in the last video, plus all my clothes, plus all like souvenirs and things like that. But if they do have something, I will show you guys and I will hopefully buy it. I still haven't found a cappuccino seat, but honestly, I think that someone in America most likely will want to take my racing seat for their cappuccino and just give me a stock seat. Because I just want a stock seat. I'm not looking for anything, you know, fancy like a Bride or a Recaro. So I think that might be an option. That's why I'm not really stressed out to find one. And then worst case scenario, I could just have it shipped like in a container. So I'm not really too pressed about it. But this is the area I'm staying in. It's Shinjuku. From what I've learned, this is like the business area. Wow, look at that. What even is that? But yeah, over here, there isn't any like cool JDM cars. It's kind of like staying in a major city. Like most of the K-Vans are either um, like commercial vehicles and they have the black plates that I really want to buy. And then most people just drive new, safe, regular cars like no one over here is driving a 1991 honda beat i'd be surprised if i even just see some driving by this plate right here this is what i really want so the black and yellow plate means it's a k car but it's a commercial k car you guys know we all know the yellow plates we all know like the white plates in front of me the big trucks and like taxis and i think like commercial in 300 meters keep right at the fork commercial vehicles have green plates like that one but the one that i'm really chasing is that black and yellow i need that in my collection look what i found hiding if you know you know good old az1 but we made it to up garage just across the street i'm now gonna park hoping that we don't spend as much money as we did yesterday yeah let's not do that so the reason i picked this up garage is because this one has the wheels this is the scooters and car parts and this one is just massive and then across the street is actually up garage tools so this is like the creme de la creme of up garages and you can really tell by the parking lot we have 186 here we got this rocket bunny 86 there GTR next to that with those very expensive Nisbo rims. We got an STI that has a cool kit to it. We got my cool Honda Fit. A nice lifted Delica. Another BRZ. Over there, there's an S13. But let's walk around here. Yesterday, I was really just chilling, enjoying the moment. Today, we're going to get back to the long content, great videos. We even got Supras getting worked on there. What is that called? The Civic or something? But anyways... Your first reaction. First. Wow. Coilovers. Magazines. Exhausts. The only thing, but actually you would be good at this. The only thing is that you have to search by like the chassis code. Yeah. So unless you know what you're looking for, whatever CP335 is, it's pretty difficult. Like this is Honda Beat because I know PP1. But a lot of people ask me to go find them parts and things like that. And I don't yeah, know your just, chassis code. It's yeah, almost impossible. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah. know what this is, but that goes for that car. I just know the K chassis code. So for me, it's pretty easy. But even that is like not easy. It takes years of remembering what is what. And then when you get here, you have to kind of pay attention to everything. So when you guys come to Japan, you'll see that it isn't the easiest to find parts in places like this. If you go to a dealership or something, I'm sure it's a lot easier, but... It's really just walking around and hoping, oh, does this fit? Does this fit? Like, this is a TRD motor. I don't know what it goes to. This is another motor, EJ20. I don't know what that is. That looks like it could be air suspension, maybe. There's a transmission there, a random seat. 
But yeah, let me walk around here. Wow. Let's see. Let's see. You think you're going to buy something? The thing is, the things are here are so big. It's so big. But there's like motors and yeah, transmissions. Man. And I saw a K motor. I had one of the other ones. Clutches. Yeah. But it's just so hard. You have to look at S15, SRT, DET. It's like you have to. Very specific. You, you have to know exactly what you're looking for. Oh, these are horns. That could fit in your, in your bag. How's it sound? Oh, what's this? It's a nice air horn, but how does it How much sound? is it? That's it's cheap. That's cheap. like 10 bucks. Yeah. Dude! <laughs> it's size is caliper. That's actually not that expensive, though. That, look at the size. I know, I know. That's actually not that expensive. Look, it's only 100000 Yeah, but I mean... I mean, in comparison to like... Yeah. Those AMG ones are actually pretty cheap. Let's go through here. So here's where I bought some inner coolers. This looks like an oil cooler. Like that's kind of universal, right? Yeah, that's universal. You could kind of use that with anything. Turbo. Oh yeah, like I said, we're gonna find tons of turbos. Let's see if there's an intake or anything. It's like an RB20 turbo. This is for what? I don't know. This is small though. Definitely water Oh, should I buy this for my cousin? Let me send a picture to him. Oh, that's expensive, but I'll send a picture of him anyway. So I'm definitely gonna buy one of each of these before I leave. I think I wanna put this on like all my K cars. It's just a nice way to dress it up for about 20 bucks. And then they have hood pins, but I found a different alternative that I'm gonna use for my cappuccino. So I think I'm also gonna buy this because I don't know, for $35 to get a power chamber filter. Okay. I'm not even sure what color it is, does it say? No, but I also don't care if it's red or blue. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna buy that too. Hopefully no one takes it before I leave. But let's see what else we got. Slater's on the phone. I'm here to shop. Here to get this money. I'm here to continue to make this great content so I can move out here. And you guys can get videos like this basically every day. Are we able to fit some coilovers in here? It's gonna be so hard to find it for a K car though. I just don't know every single chassis and VIN. JZ80, NANB, I think this is a Miata. I gotta learn what the VIN for the Honda Z is because I wanna get it a bit lower. I know I'm supposed to make it an off-road car and all that, but realistically, I'm trying to get that thing a bit lower. So I'm actually gonna Google what the VIN is while I'm in here, see if I find something. That car is really not too popular. Honestly, Up Garage, when it comes down to it, it's really just like the popular stuff that people come in. It would have to be someone who had a Honda Z who sold their springs in to get some money, which is not very likely on a 1998 car, but it is always still fun to come here and see stuff like this. Obviously all this. Let's see if we can find a cappuccino seat. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be pretty iconic if I can. I don't have my hopes up though, but let's see. Oh, these are a pair though. This is nice. These are a pair. HT81S. I'm gonna show on the screen what that is right now, but this is for both? This is only like 400 and something dollars for both. That's that's not bad. Oh, look at the pair. Look at the pair of this in comparison to that. Wow. Look at the compared to this compared to that. I wish. That's what I currently have. This is what I basically have in my cappuccino right now. This is wider. Yours is really skinny. Yeah, mine is like this. Yeah. But yeah. But look at this. A pair. 400 bucks. This is good. Yeah. Container? Good. Can you say container? I know, I gotta send some container? pictures. Container? These are cool too. Oh, no, no, no. Pretty no, expensive. No, no. This, this is cool. Yeah, but that's. This is this. That's like two grand. <laughs> oh, look, wow, look. Price. Heated. Price. Or vibrate or something. I don't know what this does. I guess that kind of makes it worth it. And this one has a pump here. It's all relative. It is all relative. Yeah, these are cool. I'm actually kind of digging these Barney seats right here. I wonder what car this goes to. 
Yeah, I might have to be sending some links to all things JDM right now. He's gonna have to drive over here. I'm sorry, bruh. I think you might have to drive over here. I'm gonna send you a bunch of pictures to make it worth your while if you're watching this right now. But I think the group would appreciate a lot of these seats. Especially for only $100 shipped. I think this is the convertible cover for S660. I wonder if that works for the beat. That'd be a good purchase. People like these a lot too. These VIP trays. These VIP trays. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Someone told me to act, look for one, but again, it's, I could, I mean, it's pretty, so I don't know the, if they're universal. Like for the car show. Oh yeah, you need one for sure. But just heavy and bulky. Yeah. Currently in the intake section, trying to see if we could find some goodies. Maybe find an LSD for the cappuccino. I found this for a Jimny wide, the JB23W. I believe that means wide. And then this is for a K car, but it's too new and it's almost $300. So I'm definitely not taking that home with me. I do think I'm still gonna buy that one over there just because it's a filter and it's only like 40 bucks. But I think what we're gonna do now is maybe head upstairs. I'll show him some scooter stuff if he's interested. If not, we're gonna head straight to the rim section where I know things are gonna get very interesting. So I keep coming back to this aisle and I think I'm gonna order these. I'm gonna see what HT81S means, but I like these style Recaros. Like, I think this is super nice. This is really nice too, but it's a lot of my price range. But for two seats with rails, I have no idea what car goes to, but with rails for about 400, maybe 450 shipped, I'm looking at let's say 600 bucks, that is not bad for these two seats. I don't know what car it's gonna go in, but you guys know I love buying K cars and I am eventually gonna do a rally build. And that's not really a rally seat, but it would look nice in my whatever car I buy in the future. I'm about to take a trip upstairs. Let's see if we'll find some good three spokes. Wow, those are, those are only two, those are cheap. Wow, look at this. JDM Ruckus with two wheels in the back. No price. I wonder if that means it's sold. That's pretty interesting. This is just all the um, scooters and stuff, though. I don't know enough about bikes to enjoy this part of the up garage. But I record some of it. Let's see what Slater is looking at. Funny part is a lot of these exhausts, if we just cut them, like probably work with <laughs> a K truck easily, like K car easily. Just made our way to the third floor. So up here there's like body parts and a bunch of rims, K size rims. For you? For what? Like for right now. Uh -huh. Like a big, big. Uh... Look at this. Basically brand new. Looking for three spokes though. That's 2,000 rims, I believe. Oh, look at all these hard tops. What is this for? I'm not sure if it says. It almost looks like it's for a beat. That's why I walked over here. FD. What is this for? S2000. Bunch of hoods. S660. I could really walk around here all day. Big wings. Bunch of grills. Oh, more seats. What do we have up here? Oh, these are much cheaper. A pair for a hundred bucks. Mazda what? NB6? When the hell did this come out on a Miata? 
I could get this for a poster and they would fit in any K car, honestly. They're just as small. These almost look very posted. I don't remember this coming from the factory, but these are comfortable. This is this is also tempting. Mitsubishi FTO. This is also really nice. Oh, I got some cigarette burns. But for you, this is like forty-five dollars for two seats. That's crazy. But add a chip into it. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. That was a Jimny seat. This. The dynamic changes. Yeah. Drastically. Sadly. Bumpers. Wow. Look at this. For one bumper. For one bumper. In comparison, <laughs> in comparison, see the price of that bumper? That one. All right, I think I'm getting closer to the K stuff. These are nice. These are pretty sought after too. These are pretty sick. I think these are for a Jimny. I gotta step my game up and come home in one of those. But I think no tri spokes. Nothing worth buying. Nothing worth worrying about shipping just yet. But we still have a lot more places to go, a lot more things to see. I think we're actually gonna go to the wheels, wheel section. Like this is just upstairs. They have a complete different building with some wheels. I think I'm gonna go there next. End up grabbing a bunch of stickers. The power chamber intake. I think I'm actually gonna put that in the cappuccino, regardless of the color. If it's red, even better. And then these two I don't really need, but I'm gonna just get them anyway. I know I'm gonna eventually want them, so might as well buy it now. Time to go to Up Garage Tools. They also sell cars out here too. So we got this S660. You ready to get this? Show and display. Wow, that spoiler is atrocious. It's all you. Nah. It's all you. Steph, I like this way more, actually. This Mitsubishi Colt, I've been seeing these all over. I want to buy one of these. Over the 660? Yeah, for sure. One is not a K car, which I, I don't know if that's good or bad. But yeah, for, this is even cheaper. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This thing is badass. That'll smoke that this is just a beat, though. It'll still smoke it three the times beat? over. I mean, the, the, no, this is fast. No, 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 never, never, never. Let's go in here though and check out some tools or is it not here no more? Oh, I think, yeah, it's not here no more. Yeah, but I think it's, I think it's just a show one. Before this, I guess they put all the tools in there that we saw. But I gotta look at this. Pretty cool. All right, let's go look at the rims then. That's nice too. Oh, I've seen this guy. He sells the octopus balls, the, toy, the taiyaki. Yeah. But yeah, this is exactly what I want. That's exactly what Slater wants. The three-way opening. We got the cool uh, moon disc rims. It's pink. Also, check out this Hustler. It's like if you want to go a different Jimny route, you buy this. Definitely a big fan. Wow, look at that. motivation right here i just have to have that all say hot dogs and french fries this is such a good price for some jimny rims with tires let's see what slater is gravitating towards i was gonna bring some of these home but they're not unique i feel like i could get this stuff at home but it is cool you can get them on amazon yeah yeah, let's walk around. I'm gonna try to find some tri spokes. I know they have uh, K car rims upstairs as well. Let's see if we find anything. Maybe even for the Z. I want tri spokes in general, though. I don't even care the size. I currently have 16s on the cappuccino, so 
If I can find 16s or 15s, I'll throw those on either car, honestly. Wow, look at the price of this. I gotta take a picture of that. That is expensive. That one too. This one too. Crazy, it must be in the expensive section. What are these green rims? Those are cool, not that bad. I was thinking of even getting my JDM Santa Caps. That's a JDM Hawaii? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. <clears throat> That'll definitely be game changing. Look at these little 12s. Yeah, five tires. Wow, these are nice. Oh, no, those are I have 10s. I know you have 10s on the Daihatsu. Yes. These are always a fan favorite. Those speed stars. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I guess we're good. We could get out of here. So I'm currently walking to get some food, and this is my first time seeing a food vending machine. These are obviously all over the place, food. but ramen would come out of here. Yes. And what's that, chicken? Wow. So how'd you get the water? How's the hot water? I don't know. I've I've I don't want to waste a thousand. Don't do it, no 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 no. Don't do it, don't do it. But this is this is cool. This is very Follow cool. Us on Twitter. Yeah. One hey. day. Hey, you know what? Now we'll we'll come back, we'll come back. Yeah. We have to walk back this way anyway, we'll see. But I'm very curious. A thousand yen is kinda cheap too. More motivation. I think this is not a K though. Looks a little big. Still very cool. Got the fan there. First deck van in the wild. Got some bikes in the back. Another K van right here. I think this is a Dahatsu Taft. so we're currently at this truck stop i've actually been here before but i didn't record i didn't really buy too much the things you do to me I mean, like, yeah. why why but we've it's been like driving and we've been seeing like hours. these on the sides of all the trucks and i didn't realize that this is what it was yeah. so i haven't owned a k truck in a while but i think that i'm just gonna save this in my notes and next time i come back so you're gonna put that on your fj or k truck um, k truck okay it could theoretically go on any. Yeah, I could go. I could put this on the cappuccino if I want yeah. to. It's just light, but yeah, they're crazy. They have so many different colors, disco. And I'm gonna see if I record some on the way back so you can see exactly where they go. Cause I didn't even know yeah, this really little... existed. Look at that one. There's so many different variations, Sizes. different sizes. So like something here. Are... Yeah. All this stuff was too big for me to really understand, honestly. But you get like Atlases and big yeah. stuff. Maybe Josh, if you're watching. Next time I'm in Japan, if you want any of this stuff, hit me up. I don't know if I have any customers or anyone watching that wants them. I guess comment below. What I did buy last time I was here though, was I grabbed some of these shift knobs. I know these are kind of generic, like the these, you guys saw I bought some of those. These I feel like you could buy on eBay. I mean, you could probably buy all this on eBay, but something that I felt like was cool because I was in Japan was I bought this. I bought two of these, so stay tuned for that. And then I bought a dragon, which is right here. Pretty sick, even this wall is pretty cool. You can see all the shift knobs. But this is just a very fun truck stop. I also got a lot of stickers. They probably don't have any more because I bought them all. Let's see. Oh yeah, they don't have any more. They're right here. They're like cool K-Truck stickers. I'll see if I have a picture. I'll show them on the screen right now. But this is another good spot to get some stuff. Maybe somebody wants some of this stuff. Let me know. I do plan on coming back to Japan. Maybe permanently. Oh wait, they're right here. Where's the high jet Suzuki? Oh no, they don't have them, but they basically look like this. 
and say high jet suzuki and then i got another just generic truck one but i think if i lived in japan actually i would come here and i would build like one of those funny like big trucks but k version because they really have everything like the shades all the extra lights i'll add like some of those heart shaped lights on my k truck definitely got to add a bunch of chrome i believe over here there was like cheetah floor mats yeah <laughs> i guess something like this add some cheetah or leopard floor mat to my k we found this which is cool we were just saying that it would be nice if this could somehow light up and i guess this kit you just connect it you put it in between the shift knob and the shifter itself and then you can have one of these light up any yep. color you want any color you want for about 27 dollars that's not bad found something else pretty cool kind of expensive though about $35 but this can go over all the round headlights K trucks K vans like the Suzuki carry the round headlight sandbars they have some covers for them which is nice I thought they were 140 and I was gonna buy all of them but they're almost $35 and I don't even have a round headlight unit but when I live here I'll ship it to you guys. You don't got to worry about it. But yeah, I think next I might go to like a hard off or something. I'm going to see if I buy some more things. But I believe after today I'm done shopping. There's not going to be many more shopping videos. I am going to post a video, maybe the one directly after this, of me going over the process of importing the Honda Z. So I'm going to show me logging onto the website, finding the Honda Z, doing, I guess, phase one of the import process. And then phase two would be, you know, maybe late January when the car actually arrives in New York. I'll do like the brokers, things that I honestly don't know yet. I'm just going to show the buying the vehicle and I guess like the importing in Japan side. And then when we get to New York, I'll do the port pickup and ISF and I don't even know all the stuff that I honestly don't know about. But that should be coming very soon as well. Okay. I said I was a bad influence. I guess I am. But you're getting some good stuff. Everybody, anybody who's watching this in Hawaii right now, stay tuned. There's some oh, goodies in man. there. I'm bringing a lot of goodies back to New York. Like, look at this horn right here. It makes 35 different sounds. Look at all this. Smoke alarm, auto sirens, fire engine, ambulance, police, machine gun. Maybe we'll put this on the cappuccino just to see how it sounds. Put it on the Z eventually. But now we're going to go to, I'm not even sure, but hopefully we don't spend any money. last stop of the day let's go to this hard off my first time going to this location let's see if we can find some goodies in here i'm not looking for psps i would say i'm looking for a little bit of car stuff a little bit of stuff that i could bring back like if i could find some more k truck stuff here i'll show you guys see if we can find anything Ooh, only 500, it's only three bucks. I might bring this back. It's too new for us, but three bucks is not bad. Audi TT. But yeah, if I could find some good K goodies, then I would definitely consider bringing them home. Let's check here. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. This is coming home with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm excited. Look at that face. No We've been talking about this for the last 48 hours. This is coming home this. with me. And it's initial D. Yes, it's the cappuccino. No it's the cappuccino that you've been know, watching. I know. Yeah. You, got, you still haven't seen the movie. I yet. know I haven't seen it, but I'm going to watch it on YouTube to, today. I'm going to watch it today. Is there another one? I don't know. We'll try to find it. Oh no! And it's from, and it's the same drift scene. Yeah, it's this is like same, the model cars. Like, let me see. Like, there's like a super the here. Like, let me see if I can. Oh, look! There's this one. If you want, I don't know if you want this one. Okay, if not, I'll take it. No, but another initial D one. Initial D. No, 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 no. After oh my! Hold on, hold on. There's a couple. I'm definitely no, taking this one. I need this one. I need this one. We'll take turns. Like twenty bucks. Uh, you know. Let's say you get the next initial D if we find one. Um, no, nah, that just might be it. I already bought that a uh, one already. That's why I want to get um so some more. Oh, look, look, there's more. So you could take one of these two, whichever one you want. I'll take one. You could take one. That was expensive, fifty-five. 
Are these bigger? No, it's the same, the same size. So what makes it um, pre-painted model kit? Oh, that is different. Yeah, it's pre-painted. This, this one fifty. Oh my God! Look at this. I don't oh. know. I don't know if I'm getting either of these. Actually, no. Wait, That's wait, like sixty-five dollars. So oh no, this is so inside is so inside is you have to build it completely. Yeah. I really only buy this for the box. Inside looks like. It's like. You gotta Not, assemble it. Yeah, yeah, but it's like you would like no offense, but I don't think anyone would ever do. Like I don't think you would ever assemble it. No one would ever assemble it. It's ridiculous. Update on my cart after explaining to Slater that this needs to be built. It doesn't look like this at all. He is not a fan. So I think I'm either buy two or three of these. Obviously buying the cappuccino. Obviously buying the RX-7. These are two cars I've been saying over and over that I want to own. And then this is a Wagon R for three bucks. I think maybe one of you guys want it. I'll throw it into like the giveaway boxes that I was talking about in the last video. And then this obviously needs no explanation why I would want to own it. I mean, it's pretty expensive for these Game Boys. Oh wow, those PSPs are pricey. Wow, that pink one is mint though. Is this where you buy your stuff? Not here, no. This is really expensive. Mm -hmm. Huh? This is really expensive compared to what I was paying. Oh, look at these. I remember these things. Oh, PSP? Yeah. <laughs> these are the real cool ones. This. <clears throat> I bought a Super Famicom too. Maybe I'll buy some more games. So this spot from what I'm seeing is pretty expensive, but they do have some gems. Like this is uh pokemon red pokemon green right behind it all that is about oh wow gold version i don't think i have a gold version of my collection yeah this one is only oh my god i'm buying so many things i don't need but gold version this is pretty iconic to have in my game boy collection got some marios here they got a bunch of street fighter and different games to the super famicom i wish they had cats run but that game goes for some big dollars so i don't see that but box wise they got some good stuff check out this pokemon i'm not even sure what this is is this pokemon i don't even know this isn't pokemon snap but it's box it comes with a headset wow it's cheap Ooh, this this i just it's just so big but that actually might have to come home with me I think I might just commit to shipping one more box. Look, Pokemon Stadium 2. I think I might just commit to get one more box back home. Mario Tennis, SSS Tricky or 1080, basically SSS Tricky before Tricky. Some more stuff here. Look at this. You got, um, it says like the moves. Drexler, Tomahawk, Dunk. Sean Camp off the glass, Moses Malone. Pretty cool to just see the box of that. Ah oh, man, crystal, yellow, red. I don't even know what this Mewtwo is, but that's expensive. It's almost a hundred dollars. And then look at this. Pokemon Stadium with the adapter. They got this one, they got this one. They got the goods, they got the goods, man. I wanna buy it all, but my bank account tells me otherwise. So this says chat with Pikachu. So I guess you chat with Pikachu and you can talk to him and he teaches you things in school to Bulbasaur. I'm gonna see how much this costs. If this goes for big money on eBay, I'm buying it. They got a ton of systems here. I think I might have to save this location on my phone. Look at this. Wii U's for so cheap. I don't understand the Wii U's. If anybody on here has one, why do they go for so little? But a bunch of Wii U's, more Super Famicoms. I posted mine on Instagram and everybody was like, I want one, I want one, I want one. This is basically how much they go for. Some come with no anything. Some come with, uh, this is still missing some things. And then some like this one that's uh, more complete with the, you know, the all the wires are a bit more expensive. But they even have some in the box, which is cool. Even says like Nintendo. That looks like authentic Nintendo things. You guys remember mine came in a special case. That's really the only reason I bought it. But this is pretty cool to see. They even have these old Segas. I'm not even sure what this is. Sega Saturn. 
that's definitely before my time. Dreamcast, that was definitely a very fun time. More Sega Saturns. They got some stuff in here. They definitely got some stuff. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just grab all this. I'm gonna also grab that Pokemon thing. I just spoke to Rodrigo and he said he'll be able to ship it to me, worst case scenario. So let me just go grab that old Pokemon thing and then we could get out of here. We're done shopping. Drag race of the year coming up. Honda <laughs> Fit. R33 GTR. Let's see. So we're about to pump gas. And uh, we are gonna capture the whole Successful two days renting a car. Next time they gotta give me something like this. I need a yellow plate, but I just dropped off the good old Honda Fit. Looks like someone is, oh, they're cleaning it up. Looks like someone's gonna take it immediately after though. But what we're gonna do now is just get some food. I win this video here, successful adventure. Maybe I add some more clips, maybe not, but thanks for watching. Peace out. I got about three more days in Japan. Then we head back to the Cappuccino, the Minica, figured that whole situation out. Remember the name, this is waiting for the fame.